Hello, my name is Sam Wainwright. I'm the dental product manager at Form Labs, and today I'm here to tell you about a new software feature in Preform called Scan to Model, built specifically for the dental industry and available for the Form 2, Form 3B, and Form 3B L. Today, if you are using or accepting raw intraoral scans, digital impressions, STL files, uh, and you wanted to print a model, you would have to prepare that file in a CAD software, either an uh, off-the-shelf CAD software or a dental-specific model building software. And we saw this as a huge barrier to entry for anybody that's looking into getting into 3D printing or digital workflows altogether. Scan to model fills that void. So now with scan to model, you can take that digital impression, the STL file of it, and bring it directly into the software, prepare it, and print it. To show the workflow in a little bit more detail, first you start with a 3D intraoral scan, a digital impression of the patient's anatomy or dentition. Once you have those files, the STL files, you import those scans into Preform Scan to Model, which is this tooth icon. You locate your file, open them, and it allows you to then rotate the uh, anatomy into place with the occlusal side facing away from the bill platform. Second, you can set a trimming plane position. This allows you to uh, trim off extraneous data, and of course, you can keep all the data if needed. And lastly, you can add a base height. You don't need to set a base height, but if you wanted to add additional height to the model, you can set a value here. Once that step's done, your model gets calculated and it's based appropriately. From here, you can set up and, and use your model like normal. Once the job has been set up and the model's been built, you send it to the printer, you put in the resin tank, bill platform, and, and resin cartridge, and print like normal. Then you use our automated post-processing wash and cure system, and you have a model. These replica models are great for um, thermoforming uh, appliances like uh, clear retainers, or um, mouth guards, or even holding trays or even traditionally fabricated orthodontic appliances like Holly retainers. Uh, it's great for study models and diagnostic models, of course, and then patient presentation parts as well. It's always easier to talk about case and the plan and the treatment if you have a physical part in hand. Going a little bit deeper with uh, the potentials that scan to model hopefully will unlock with same-day appliances, here are the major steps of a thermoformed appliance workflow, say like a clear retainer. You take the digital impression, you bring those STL files into preform, build it with scan to model, pin, print and post process, then thermoform over those models, um, cut out, finish, and then you're ready to deliver the appliance. Scan to model really fits super well with our new draft material and resin. Um, and as you can see here, I have a bit of an example. Uh, this is generally how the time breaks out. Obviously, take this with a little bit of a grain of salt. But you can see a digital impression, maybe about 10 minutes, scan a model and setting up the job, another five. And then print time, and this is even on three models because I wanted to leave a little bit of a room for error, be a little bit more conservative. 28 minutes, that's actual print time for that job there. Wash, 10 minutes. Cure, five minutes. And then application fabrication, around 10 minutes as well. That's a total time of about 68 minutes give or take. Uh, and this actually is really interesting because this can allow uh, for a streamlined workflow for these really high value same day appliances when they're needed. And if you're using a third party uh, CAD software, say like 3Shape or ExoCAD, you can have those software licenses and, and uh, technicians focused on those high value tasks while Preform can take on these quick or, or say simpler workflows and jobs. Uh, also, we are releasing some uh, tutorial videos, walkthroughs. Uh, I highly recommend checking them out. They go into detail uh, on how to use the software, the step-by-step -step, uh, with some clear guidance, as well as some more advanced uses and features of scan to model I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm very excited about this software release. I hope you are too. Have a great day.